you've been looking for an AI SEO writer that takes all of the work out of the process, look no further because I'm about to introduce you to Content at Scales RankWell, the number one AI SEO writer out there. This is a full tutorial on how to take content from keyword research all the way to published and live on your site in under five minutes. If you don't believe me, then keep watching. What you're about to see is an extraordinary breakthrough in the AI SEO writing space. Now, if you've followed me and my work over at Content Hacker, you know that for the past year, I've been teaching a framework I call Craft, which is a way to show the SEO writer using AI what to do next. What to do when that content comes straight out of AI and the steps they need to take to get it published ready. And those steps were craft, cut the fluff, review that content, optimize it, add images, visuals, media, fact check, and then trust build with personal story. Using Content at Scales Rankwell, we were able to cut down the hours and the time involved from seven or eight hours for one long form, 3000 word pillar piece of content built to rank at the top of Google all the way down to just one hour. And that alone was a breakthrough. That's why I got behind Content at Scale in January of 2023. I started teaching writers, the type of writer that I used to be for 10 years. I was a human SEO content writer. Surprise, surprise, I'm still a human, but am I an SEO content writer doing it all human Heck no. Not when AI SEO writers like Continent Scale exist. And with the breakthrough of this new feature added called Deep Research in March of 2024, you literally can go straight from an idea of a topic to publishing content that is as good, if not better, than the average human SEO content writer. And infinitely better than cheap, crappy AI SEO writers or single LLMs that don't do any of the real-time research and data compiling for you. So I'm here to tell you, and you're about to see it for yourself because I'm gonna take you to my desk and show you what it actually looks like. But I'm here to tell you that craft can now be fully automated. We don't have to sit there and cut the fluff. We don't have to sit there and heavily review the content. We don't have to sit there and heavily fact check or trust build. We can have all of that automated. And the process that you need to do now is something I'm calling tap. And the idea is one simple human tap needed before that content goes out. Tap stands for take a look at the content. You need to physically still lay eyes on that content before it gets published. A stands for add images, visuals, and media. You need to bring that content to life with visuals. And then P stands for publish, get that content out. And if you don't believe me that it can be as simple as a single tap, well, our users, all 3000 of them beg to differ. In fact, we've studied use cases and what we're seeing are publishers going straight from our AI to live on their site and ranking for over 1500 keywords, a single blog post getting over a hundred thousand impressions a month from organic SEO, a straight out of AI blog post where all the user did was add images and edit it a tiny bit ranking number one for a global keyword across the world and content in tough medical YMYL niches ranking for over 1700 keywords. That's a single blog post. We've gathered tons of examples from our users. You can find these by the way, in the FAQ section on our pricing page. Check out all the straight out of AI examples there. All right, so what does it look like to actually tap and generate content within Continent Scales Rankwell to go straight to publishing from a single keyword. Let me show you. Let's jump into a tutorial at my desk. You're looking at a new project I set up for a fitness trainer. This is somebody that's building a personal brand. Her name is Pamela Young. Her website is PamelaFitness.com. She's based in the US, so that's the language that we've set our project to. We can actually pick from over a hundred different languages here. And then if we go to the region, the country, this will also set the SERP crawler. So this not only sets the language for the project, but also the country that our AI will do live SEO research in. So pretty powerful that alone. But with our project set up, which is one website, we can now generate content and we can do that very simply from a keyword, an existing blog post, a YouTube video, a podcast episode, an audio file, or a raw doc. And whenever we add in a keyword, we don't want to add any additional context. And we want to let the AI do all of the research because the content comes out much better that way. 
Continent Scales SEO AI Writer Rankwell was built to do one thing really well, <laughs> rank. And so if you add in any extra context, it will actually mess up the very detailed, fine-tuned background research process that Continent Scale does. Okay, so I just ran a post today for the keyword how to do squats. And let me show you the full start to finish pathway I would recommend for using our AI SEO writer to publish content. So first of all, you want to get inside the keyword research tool. Continent Scale's RankWell has an amazing suite of SEO tools built directly in. You can build clusters straight from here. You can even do topic reports, content briefs, and optimization audits to catch gaps in your content and see how you can do better. So all Pamela would need whenever she logs into a platform this powerful is an idea of what her audience wants to read about. That's all she needs to do. And if you're doing this as a service for your clients, then you would set up a project for them and do the same process. So the first step I would do is to go in the topics and keywords and type in something my audience wants to hear from me about. So Pamela teaches fitness, specific types of exercises to build muscle and lose weight. So something pretty natural that somebody might type in Google is how to do squats. I typed that in, clicked generate keywords, and I instantly got over 25 pages of keywords with 10 keywords per page. That's over 250 potential keywords we could target. I always look for a ranking difficulty of 40 or less. This is a scale from one to a hundred. It helps you know just how difficult it is to rank. So right away, the second keyword here is a little bit over 40 at 43. That's not that bad for a keyword getting 23,000 searches a month. So this is the keyword we went with, how to do squats. And then all I did was click create content and I clicked write post now. So let me take you through the process of how to go straight from this keyword to publishing content using the tap method. So straight out of the gate, this rated 63, we're going to follow the first step in tap, which which is take a look at the content. And sometimes your look will be 30 seconds. It will be reading through and knowing it's good. And sometimes that look will be a little bit more in depth. So for this one, the first thing that stood out whenever I took a look was that we didn't hit 80 yet on the optimization score. And let me show you how easy it is to hit 80. So I hit 81 in a matter of just a few minutes by adding in the keyword, how to do squats about five more times. That's it. And the reason the AI doesn't automatically plug all of these in for you, and we still recommend that a writer takes a look and optimizes content if it's below that score of 80, is because sometimes keywords just sound forced. And in order to uphold what Google wants, which is human-like undetectable content, sometimes it just takes a human to work in that keyword a few more times. So as you can see, this is what I did. I added it right here in the H2. And here's what the H2 looks like. It just said the basics, parentheses, proper squat form. So all I did was add that in, see how simple that was. And then I went through the content and I added it in here like so. I referenced hey, you'll achieve this once you learn keyword. Here's what will happen when you learn how to do squat. And then I added it into the conclusion one more time. That's it. And that took the content all the way to 80. So at this point, all we need to do is one last scan before we go to the A in tap, which is add images and visuals. So as I scan through, I'm opening and checking the links. These links go to valid sources. That's a pretty amazing study from the National Library of Medicine, no less talk about authority. And I even love how our AI referenced that study. It said, in fact, research shows that it's such a human-like way to reference a study. Well done, Ringwell. We have our key takeaways. All this is automated, by the way. I haven't edited anything. And that's why craft is dead, tap is in. <laughs> because you don't need to sit here and cut the fluff. There is no fluff. Where'd the fluff go? I can't find it. It's gone. That's wild. You don't need to fact check. All you're doing is looking at links. These are reputable sites. This is Healthline. The other one was a .gov link. So on point with the resources. The only thing I would change here is to link to the book a call or some kind of action page for my client. Or let's say I was Pamela looking at this content. Well, then I should link to a page where I encourage people to take that next step with me. Otherwise, this is just somebody else's resource page. So this is the perfect place to drop a little link back to our services and make that money. So I wanna show with you lastly, how you can automate experience 
building experience, personal experience into your blog post in consonant skill. So how I would do that is weave it into the intro and the conclusion, especially in the conclusion. Um, if you weave it into the intro, it could look like adding a little bit of a personal story here, maybe a client testimonial, a story of a client she helped who completed a race, a marathon after they learned how to do squats. So that would be the perfect little relative bit for the intro, but I want to show you specifically how to automate part of this with the conclusion. So in the project settings in content at scale, you have something called call to action. And this is where you can save a write up of something specific after every intro and then after every conclusion. And once you save this, it will automate that text into every single blog. So what you should do here, and you can do it here as well, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just doing the conclusion is write up something that's personal to you and why somebody would move forward with you. That is a great way to frame a call to action instead of just learn more about what I do here. Tell them why they should move forward with you. For Pamela, she has 15 years of experience. It's her goal to help people experience total wellness. So we have a unique value proposition here that's different from other personal trainers. So anything you have like that, you can automate it inside every blog by putting it in here. And once you save that, every blog generated will have these call to actions featuring personal experience in each blog. So let me show you how I took the conclusion from something that AI wrote into a more personal eat friendly version. So what we're doing here is we're speaking to the reader from our personal experience. And that's a great way to conclude any blog. Hey, you're at the end of your journey, but what would it look like to feel this way every single day? What would it look like to build a successful coaching business? What would it look like to have X, Y, Z? Speak to what you do for them as a service. Speak to what you sell and then bring your journey into it. And that's where content of scale actually automates that. So it'll place that for you. And then you're just reading through it and adding something unique every time, just a little tweak. That's it. You have a perfect eat friendly blog just by doing those couple things. So you're automating a statement about you and your personal experience into every blog. And then you're going specifically into either the intro or the conclusion and tweaking it to speak to your story or a client story. That's it. This content from my expert point of view as a writer for 10 years is really, really good. And it's hard to find writers that even right with this level of diligence, zero fluff, great formatting. This is readable formatting. So all we did was add in that keyword a few more times, double checked the link, changed up one link, and now we're ready to add images and publish. So at this point, what I would do, I would actually use Dolly or Mid Journey to generate my images. Each of these solutions are very cheap. I think Mid Journey is eight bucks a month and Dolly through ChatGPT plus is 25 bucks a month. So I just ran the very, very simple prompt show a fitness trainer helping somebody do squats through mid journey. And I got these examples, which look pretty great. I like the second one. So I'm going to upscale that second version and go with that for the blog. Quick tip, whenever you're saving your image, use the file name of the keyword. When you upload it, that file name will be saved. And that's just a little bit more SEO juice. And now besides an image for the post, I'm also going to make a featured image. If I'm publishing my content on WordPress, which I always recommend, you want a featured image for that blog as well. So all I'm going to do is take that same prompt, add in aspect ratio of 16 to nine, and that'll give me an automatically correctly sized image for WordPress. So here's what we got at that aspect ratio that fits WordPress. This feels like a zoomed in image of a questionable area. So <laughs> why are we doing squats in the forest? It looks pretty random. Why are we facing a wall with some graffiti on it? This one looks pretty good though. Let's upscale it. I am a little worried about the hands. Yeah, the fingers look a little short, but hey, at least there's not a 10th finger growing out of her hand somewhere. So we're going to go ahead and save that as well with a variation of the keyword. We're going to save this. All right, so now that we have our images, we are going to add them into the blog posts like so. We've got that nice large square one we made from Midjourney. By the way, that could double up as an Instagram photo for your feed. If you wanted to paste some of this content as an Instagram caption. <laughs> Frankwell is primarily an AI SEO writer that will not change, but this content is so good. I'm telling you now that you don't need to cut the fluff, you could literally take it and use it in other places. So we're going to hit save and then we're going to go over to the media tab and we're going to upload our featured image as well. 
that's it. I'm telling you, I would publish straight out of AI just like it is. It is ready to go and it's better than 90% of the robotic crap out there on this topic. I did a Google search of the keyword and it's crazy how crappy the content is compared to what I'm seeing in this AI SEO post by Rankwell. Some other ideas, if you're not in the fitness niche, and let's say you're talking about marketing, you could go get screenshots of graphs in this Rankwell piece for the keyword, how to start a blog on Facebook. So it just depends on how detailed you want to get. And if you're talking about a tutorial or marketing tools, you want to add in a few screenshots or infographics to really bring that visual aspect to life. In the video description, I'm going to link to this article so you can actually see it for yourself straight out of AI, just how good the content can get when you use a tool like Content at Scale's AI SEO writer, Rankwell. I mean, this is good content. There's no fluff. It's easy to read. The sources are spot on. The way it's written is very similar to one of the best content writers out there. And I'm just so impressed to be a part of this and even get to share this with you. It's honestly revolutionary. It's going to change everything when it comes to SEO content production. I'm not just excited about the quantity of content and how we can actually compete with big publishers now that the cost of content with an AI SEO writer like Rankwell is around 30 bucks or less per piece, depending on the volume you get. And by the way, it's not a dollar per piece because generating content this good is actually very expensive. There's multiple technologies that are run inside Content at Scale, multiple LLMs it taps into, real-time SEO crawling, NLP analysis, topic and clustering and keyword research. Lots of things go on below the hood of this AI SEO writer. I'm thrilled to partner with such an amazing visionary like our founder, Justin McGill, who really is the reason this technology exists. For 20 years, he was an SEO. His dream when he built this tool was to publish straight out of AI. That's why we all have shirts that say this. It's the dream. And whenever I joined, you know, I saw about an hour of work that still needed to be put in. And now after these updates with deep research as a core update inside of Rankwell, our SEO AI writer, my own work, publishing my content on the Content Hacker blog, the Content at Scale blog with our content team of just two people, by the way, producing nearly a hundred posts per month. My own work is minutes per post. And whenever I run tests and demos, hobby projects for all the talks I give in tons of different niches and verticals, whenever I talk to our users, I'm seeing the same thing. Now that said, AI is not perfect. So if whenever you generate a post, you see really bad output, ask yourself two questions. Number one, did I use the right keyword? It always comes out best if you give it a simple informational keyword and you don't add any additional context. Using our keyword research tool, is a great way to uncover what that keyword should be and to pick a keyword that has a lot of search volume, but isn't too difficult to go after. And then secondly, sometimes AI just breaks. <laughs> it's a known fact. So head on over to the research tab and just click rewrite and rerun that post up to two times for free. If you don't like what you see, and oftentimes that will re-trigger things and it will work. And let us know if you experience a bug. We'd love to hear from you. Inside the app in Rankwell, there's a little purple chat button that reaches a real human team where you can drop us a note, ask us a question, and tell us about the problem you're experiencing. I can tell you, I've never seen a team that's working so hard towards a single dream and a single goal. Justin probably outworks every one of us. So that alone is very inspiring, but it's amazing to be a part of a group of people that really care about providing a real solution. And that's what this AI SEO writer is. Rankwell is a real deal solution where you can go from hours, if not weeks and months, trying to publish good content to literal minutes. Try it out for yourself today at contentscale.ai. If you go to contentscale.ai forward slash pricing, you can get in on a trial, seven days of access to our platform, generating one full post for just $15. So check that out. You have nothing to lose and rankings and traffic to gain. I hope to see you on the other side of Continent Scale.